Two years ago, in December of 2022, I passed the Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Administrator, the PCNSA. This is Palo Alto Networks Intermediate Level Certification for its most famous product, the Next Generation Firewall. This certification lasts for two years, so I went to go renew the certification this month in order for it not to expire, and I found out Palo Alto Networks is completely redoing its entire certification program. It's moving from product-based certifications to role-based certifications. In this video, I'm going to talk about these role-based certifications, and I'm going to talk about how over the next three months, I'll be taking these role-based certification exams in order to help you better understand how they might benefit you and how they might help you become a better cybersecurity professional and upskill your abilities in the Palo Alto Networks ecosystem. Keep watching for more. Last month, on November 7th, Palo Alto Networks announced its completely new role-based certification program. This program resulted in the creation of six new certifications and the retiring of three, the entry-level technician, the network security administrator, and the software firewall engineer. In this graphic, you can see the legacy product-focused certifications on the left and the new role-based certifications on the right. These certifications are divided up into Palo Alto Networks product lines. Strata is here in yellow, Prisma or cloud-based security is here in blue, while Cortex, the security operations platform, is here in green. Since the PCCET is more of a general certification and it kind of covers all three of these and is a base level certification before proceeding into these more advanced certifications, it's down here in the bottom and runs across all three of them. For some context, I currently have the PCSAE, which I've passed twice. I passed that in May of 2021 and again in May of 2023. As I mentioned before, I also have the PCNSA, which expires this month, and I passed in December of 2022. Palo Alto Networks has announced that they're getting rid of three of these products-focused certifications. The first is the PCCET, the entry-level technician. The second is the PCNSA. And the third is the Software Firewall Engineer. The Software Firewall Engineer is actually a pretty new certification, so it didn't last very long. While Palo Alto Networks has not announced that they're getting rid of these other certifications, I wouldn't be surprised to see some of these fall off soon and to be replaced with new role-based certifications. On the new role-based certification side, you can see the same organization of certifications. Yellow is the strata-based certifications and green is the cortex-based certifications. There's no blue because this is a new certification program, so Palo Alto Networks has yet to release Prisma or cloud security certifications. However, I would expect to see those soon. There are now two new entry-level certifications. One is called the Cybersecurity Practitioner and the other is Cybersecurity Apprentice. These are more general certifications, so they don't fall into a specific product category and therefore split across the entire set of product categories. This organization of certifications also gives increasing specificity and difficulty as you move up along the graphic. These two certifications here are more general and introductory level. And then finally, as you get to the top, these are the specialist certifications, which are for more advanced users of these products. As I mentioned, over the next few months, I will be taking these certifications. I'm going to start with the Cybersecurity Apprentice. This is a general certification, somewhat similar to Security Plus. It covers the basics of cybersecurity and a little bit of networking. Then I'll move on to the Cybersecurity Practitioner. This covers a little bit more about Palo Alto Networks products specifically, and also how to implement network security in an environment. Then I will move on to the Network Security Generalist. This covers the specific network security products that Palo Alto Networks offers and has some very basic introductory level configuration and troubleshooting of those products. Then I will move on to Security Operation Generalist, very similar to the Network Security Generalist, except on the Cortex products and on being able to understand security operations as compared to network security. Finally, I will move on to the specialist certifications. Right now, there are two, the first of which is Palo Alto Network's Security Service Edge Engineer, which is its cloud-based Secure Access Service Edge product. The second specialist certification that's currently available is Palo Alto Network's XIM Analyst Certification, which focuses on Palo Alto Network's security operations platform product called XIM, or Extended Security Information and Automation Management. The XIM Analyst Certification certifies that someone is able to be an analyst, so they're able to actually use the product and be someone who receives alerts, triages them, and potentially participates in incident response. Palo Alto Networks also intends to release two additional 
specialist certifications in January. One will be focused on the next generation firewall and will be the next generation firewall engineer. And the second will be yet another XIM certification, except rather than being focused on being an XIM analyst, it will be a certification for XIM engineers who actually set up, maintain, and improve the content of XIM. I bet you're still wondering which of these certifications might be right for you. That's why over the next three months, I am going to attempt all eight certifications. For each certification, I will make a review video, which hopefully will help you understand which certification might be right for you. In each review video, I will have five topics that I will cover. First, I will give an overview of the certification. Second, I will talk about which skills you might learn by studying for and taking the exam for that certification. Third, I will talk about what resources I used and how I prepared for the exam for that certification. Fourth, I will talk about my general experience taking the exam. Of course, I can't give specific questions that are in the exam and I can't violate the exam's integrity, but I'll just talk generally about how the exam felt and how I felt as I was taking the exam. Fifth, I will talk about my recommendation of who the exam might be suitable for and whether or not it might be suitable for you based on your specific role and where you're at in your career. If you're interested in this, keep watching. Please check out the rest of the videos. I will release the next one within one week, and I'll be first taking the cybersecurity apprentice exam. Look forward to seeing you in that video and talk to you soon.